Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this given question. Now let's see how to find out the angle between the given two lines whose direction for signs are given by the equation 3L plus 5 plus, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 3L plus M plus 5N equal to 0 and 6MN minus 2NL plus 5LM equal to 0. For your information, this is one of the important questions which can come in the board exam. Now let's see how to do it. The equations are there. For your reference so that you could look into it anytime see it's very simple okay this is in fact uh, a very simple model of question a very simple type of question now let's see how to solve it first write down the give, uh, first given equation my first we are given that 3l plus m plus 5n is equal to 0 this is my first equation now i'm going to i'm going to send a 3l and mn to the other side now my m will be nothing but minus 3l minus 5n okay i just wrote this now write down and i can just mark this as my one okay uh, so that i could use it at any point of time now next 6mn my second equation is 6mn minus 2nl plus 5lm is equal to 0 okay now what is my m now what is my m my m is nothing but minus 3l minus 5n that's uh, minus 5 and I'm sorry. That's what I'm going to substitute in this equation. If I do that, so this will be nothing but 6mn, right? So 6n into, in place of n, uh, in place, I'm sorry, in place of m, I'm going to write minus 3l minus 5n. Minus 3l minus 5n. And then in between, it's just minus 2nl. So just keep it as it is. Don't, no, don't have to do anything. Minus 2nl. And then plus 5L into, again, there is an M. So in place of M, minus 3L minus 5N. Minus 3L minus 5N is equal to 0. Now, he, now from here, our simplification process. So 6N into minus 3L. So basically minus 18, minus 18LN. And then 6n into minus 5n. So minus 30n square. Minus 30n square. Uh, minus 2nl. Keep it. I'm going to write it as minus 2ln. And then 5l into minus 3l. So minus 15l square. Minus 15l square. And then 5l into minus 5n. Minus 25ln. Minus 25 ln equal to 0. Now let's see what are the like terms here. So here I have minus 15 L square. I'm going to write it in the beginning. Minus 15 L square. Next. Minus 18 ln minus 2 ln. So basically it is minus 20 ln. And then minus 20 ln minus 25 ln. So it is minus 45 ln. Minus 45 ln. And what else I'm left out with? Minus 30 n square. Minus 30 n square. Minus 30 n square equal to 0. Now, if you'll observe in this entire equation, in this entire equation, I can take minus 15 common. If I'll take minus 15 common, if I'll take minus 15 common, then here I'm left out with L square. Uh, 15 threes are 45. So here I would get plus 3 ln, plus 3 ln because minus sign I took, it out, took outside plus 3 ln. And then 15 twos are 30. So that here I would get plus 2n square plus 2n square equal to 0. Now send this minus 15 to the other side. If you do that, I'm left out with this. L square plus 3ln plus 2n square equal to 0. Now time for some factorization. Now how to factorize this? Just write 3ln as, just write 3ln as, uh, okay, uh, control E came out wrong now just write 3ln as 2ln plus ln okay 2ln plus ln plus 2n square is equal to 0 now in these two terms i can take l common in these two terms i can take n common now see what would happen if i take l common in the first two terms here i will be left out with 1l and since i took l common i am left out with 2n Plus, in these two terms, if I'll take n common, 
one sorry uh, it's fab now plus n into l plus 2n is equal to 0 now if you'll observe in these two terms i can take l plus 2n common it is common so if i'll take l plus 2n common i'll get l plus 2n into l plus n is equal to 0 fine now my factorization is done now basically i have two cases uh okay i'll show i'll take it to the next page the text so either l plus 2n equal to 0 either l plus 2n equal to 0 or l plus n equal to 0 fine these are my cases so l equal to minus 2n it's my one case or l equal to minus n this is my other case so i got my two cases now for my first case i'm going to take l equal to minus n i'm going to take l equal to minus n case one case one l equal to minus n now if my l is minus n now if you guys remember what is my m my m is minus 3l minus 5n m is minus 3l minus 5 m equal to minus 3l minus 5n okay so this is nothing but l is what l is minus n so this would be nothing but minus 3 into minus n minus 5n so this will be nothing but minus n to minus will be plus so this will be nothing but 3n minus 5n which is equal to minus 2n i hope things are clear till now now what i did what i did ultimately i wrote l in terms of n i wrote m in terms of n and n is already in terms of n right and n is nothing but n. now what i'm going to do i'm going to find out l is to m is to n i'm going to find out l is to m is to n l is to m is to n i'm going to find out the ratio what is my l minus n minus n is to what is my m minus 2n and then likewise what is my n just keep n as it is okay now since this is a ratio i can cut i can cancel off whatever is common so n i can just strike it off so ultimately my ratio will come out to be my ratio will come out to be minus 1 is to minus 2 is to 1 okay so this is my first task now let let the drs of line 1 let let the drs of line l1 be let See, there are two lines okay there are two uh, there are two lines whose dcs are given like this so of those two lines of one line drs let the drs let the drs of l1 be a1 comma b1 comma c1 okay which is nothing but equal to what is uh, what are they nothing but equal to these three minus one minus two and one okay minus one minus two and one okay so i got a1 b1 c1 my next task is to find out a2 b2 c2 now how i'm going to do that the case two i got l as minus two and that's my second case case two case two l equal to l equal to minus two okay now again what is what was my m m was nothing but minus three l minus 5n now what is my l in this case l is minus 2n so that's why l minus 3 into minus 2n minus 5n so this would be nothing but minus 3 into minus 2 would be plus 6 so 6n minus 5n 6n minus 5n is nothing but just now again let's come to find let's find out l is to m is to n so l is to m is to n would be nothing but l is nothing but minus 2n in this case m is nothing but n and n is also nothing but just n now as i told since this is ratio you can strike off whatever is common so this would be nothing but minus 2 is to 1 is to 1 okay now let the drs of line l2 be let the drs of line l2 b a2 comma b2 comma c2 which is nothing but equal to 
these three minus two comma one comma one minus two comma one comma one that's it i got a1 b1 c1 and i got a2 b2 c2 now if you rem remember what is uh, what is asked in the question find the angle between the lines okay i got the drs of the lines now with that i'm going to find out the angle between the lines how very simple cos theta formula cos theta is nothing but cos theta is nothing but okay just a second uh, i need to use small c here cos theta is nothing but this is a formula which i expect you guys to remember is nothing but a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into under root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square you know guys might think what such a complicated formula it's nothing it's nothing okay see basically i'll just write it here again for your reference obviously you not write it a1 b1 c1 is nothing but uh, if i recollect wait let me just look at it yeah minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 and 1 a2 b2 c2 is a2 b2 and c2 is nothing but minus 2 comma 1 comma 1 minus 2 comma 1 comma okay it's very simple for the numerator for the numerator see what i have what i have a1 a2 that means minus 1 into minus 2 plus minus 2 into 1 plus c1 c2 means 1 into 1 that's it very simple right and then a1 under root a1 square okay first let me just start this down so basically i have minus 1 into minus 2 plus modulus don't forget the modulus plus uh, minus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 1 divided by divided by under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square just square square of square of these and add that's it not much complicated right this would be nothing but minus 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square i know my handwriting is not that good please tolerate so this is nothing but minus two whole square a two b a two square plus b two square plus c two square so square square of these three and at plus one square plus one square so now minus one into minus two is plus two and minus two into one is minus two plus one into one is one divided by under root of minus one whole square is plus one and minus two whole square is four and one square is again one again here minus two whole square is four and one square is one and again one square is one okay now to simplify so two minus two is two minus two is one and i'm left out with one mod one modulus of one divided by this is 1 plus 4 plus 6, which is nothing but 6. Again, 4 plus 1 plus 1. It's nothing but 6. So root 6 into root 6. Root 6. Root 6. Now this is nothing but equal to since it is positive, modulus of 1 is nothing but just 1. Root 6 into root 6 is 6. So I got my cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but 6. Cos theta is nothing but 6. Therefore, theta equal to. Okay. Therefore, theta equal to cos inverse 1 by 6 that's it this is my angle therefore the uh, as conclusion you can write this statement therefore the angle between the two lines whose direction questions are cosines are given by these two equations is cos inverse 1 by 6 that's it question is done so thank you very much for staying with me until here uh, not just this uh, question okay many other questions related to mathematics one we have made you can just go through my channel you can find various playlists and if you like this video solution please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it once again i'm akash i completed my btech from nit raurkela in the year 2020 currently i'm a mathematics teacher thank you